My name is Tom Rasik. I'm the Associate Dean here at Jessup University over Humanities and the Arts. I specialize in the arts and uh, direct the University Choir and Orchestra. And I've had the privilege of working with your sons and daughters and granddaughters and grandsons uh, for the, over the past two days. And what a ride it has been. Let me clarify, what a blessing it has been. And it has just... It, it blesses me and I learn just as much from them, hopefully as they do from me. And I want to say this before we begin, the job that you have done with your kids is absolutely amazing. Give yourselves a hand, give yourselves a hand. I often say uh, with the kids that I work with, uh, I often say, don't worry about the future, because the future is right in front of you. And tonight, as you listen to these kids sing, I want you to, to take rest in the fact that whatever you see on the news, whatever you're following on social media, everything is gonna be okay. Because if it's kids like this that take leadership uh, over the country and over, uh, over uh, our pop culture, Everything is going to be and remain in God's hands. I promise you that. So let's celebrate that. We are so excited to have uh, continued to host ACSI Musical. I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth year we've taken on the event. And, uh, you know, we have gone through this season. It seems like every event that we have, we talk about, oh, this, this season, you know, the, uh, the pandemic. Well, you know what is exciting is every year we have had this event here at Jessup, it has grown and we are up to 10 schools participating from Oregon all the way down to Southern California. And the arts is back and alive and being rebuilt in the schools. And we can all rejoice with that. Uh, so yes, definitely something to celebrate. The students that have been singing and have been adjudicated are, are amazing, and you are gonna have a ton of fun watching them tonight. Please, a warm welcome to Southlands Christian School. They'll be performing He Who Began a Good Work. Come on up, you guys.
without measure into a little treasure box I thought I found until the day when Jesus came to me and healed my soul with the wonder of his touch so now I'm giving back to him all the praise he's worthy of I've been forgiven and that's why I love him so much and I've come to pour my praise on him like oil from Mary's alabaster box Don't be angry if I wash his feet with my tears
right, let's get the rest of you guys up here. Come on, you knuckleheads. That's about 250 of them, so we should be done loading the risers in about 20 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Don't your kids look good? They do, don't they? They do. So I am a blessed man where I get to uh, work with college students and uh, I'm especially lucky because they are very, very talented. And so on Tuesday afternoon, I came to J.D. Gluck, our drummer of our university choir and orchestra, and Andrew Javert, and I said, hey, I need you guys. Are you in? And they said, yes, absolutely, we're in. I said, great, I'll have the music to you by tomorrow. That was Wednesday. And they looked at it, and they're going to be joining us. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for the time that you've spent. Also want to introduce this young man. You may have seen him if you've been uh, here at a concert before. His name is Andre Andrievsky. Did I say it correctly? He said I said it correctly. Sometimes I feel like the students up here love Andre more than they love me. That's okay. That doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, but we are blessed to have Andre. He actually holds a faculty position here at Jessup University, and he uh, comes alongside me uh, and does uh, his piano playing incredibly well, has a master's degree in piano performance from Sac State. We're honored to have you here. This first song, are you ready? You guys ready? All right. You remember what we talked about? I talked about this with a few of you. What do we say right before a performance? Don't embarrass the family. That's what we say. Here we go. This is called What God Has Planned.
Well, we're, so I said there's two worship songs that we're going to do. This is going to be the second one. It's called Gloria. It's written by John Rudder. Uh, it's actually arranged by John Rudder. And Gloria out of the Catholic Mass. It's, uh, this is what they're going to be seeing. Gloria in excelsis Deo et in terra pax hominibus bone voluntate laudamus te benedicimus te adoramus te Glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi, propter magnum gloriam tuam. Get it? Here's what it means. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace. To all those of good will, we praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee according to thy great glory. It's a worship song. It's just in Latin. Here we go.
That was scary, huh? You guys are loud. You're loud. It's like, it's like driving, a, driving a semi, an 18-wheeler, down an icy road going 100 miles an hour. That's what it's like directing you guys. It's just, it's scary and fun. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna slow down just a little bit. Uh, this is one of my favorite arrangements of one of my favorite melodies, and that's why I chose it, because I just wanted to share this part of me with the students. It's a Rene Clausen arrangement of Simple Gifts. Uh, it's a shaker tune, sometimes confused with a folk tune. It's actually originally a shaker tune. This is Simple Gifts.
These are some hard songs, and uh, it's amazing that they tackled these, uh, these songs, this rep at their age. You guys are led by uh, some incredible directors, and I would love, uh, if you are a director of one of uh, the groups, or of some of these students, if you're a director in here, please stand up so we can acknowledge you. Over here, here, here. Yes. Over here, over here. Well done. Often being a teacher is a thankless job. And for you, if your music teacher has touched your life, if they have affected your life, if they have impacted your heart, would you sit down and write them a note, handwritten, email, whatever, but would you just let them know? Nehemiah, he's one of my favorite, uh, he's one of my favorite leaders in the Bible. He's the one that uh, was called to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem when it was in tatters, when they were in exile. And when Nehemiah got permission to rebuild the wall, he went to Jerusalem, to the remnant, and he said, we're going to build this wall. And there were enemies all around them that said, we don't want Jerusalem to rebuild its wall because we won't be able to have access to everything they have. We won't be able to keep them under our feet. And Nehemiah kept going and kept going. And as he was doing that, the enemies led by this cat named Sanballat. Have you heard of him? Sanballat kept saying, Nehemiah, come down off of the wall so that we can meet with you. Come down so that we can talk to you. They really just wanted to kill him. And Nehemiah answered them with this phrase, I cannot come down. I'm doing a great work. And they asked him again, Nehemiah, come down off the wall. We just want to talk to you. We want to talk and come to terms. And he said, I'm doing a great work. I cannot come down. That happened three times. I'm doing a great work. I cannot come down. Directors, when you get tired, when you seem to have had it, when you're frustrated, please just remember you're doing a great work. Don't come down, because this is the fruit of your labors. You're doing a great work. Don't come down. This next song is a fun song. Trevor Redding, where are you, my friend? Come down here. So I met Trevor yesterday, Yes. yes. and uh, he has come to be known amongst this group as Golden Voice. <laughs> Not really, I just made that up. I hope that's okay with you. Oh, that's all right. All right, this is, <laughs> this is just a little talk with Jesus. Are you ready to take them to church? I was born ready. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> All right, I'm giving you one and two.
Excellent. All right. Well, hey, we got one more. And uh, let's see. Gillespie Rivalcaba. Did I say it right? You like Gillespie? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Rubalcaba, did I say it correctly? That is correct. Did you find out the origin of your last name? I did, actually. And? Um, so, well, uh, my father is, um, he is uh, Latin American. And okay. he comes, uh, his, our family uh, comes from a uh, long, different number of places. Okay. Uh, but originally, my last name had a, uh, it, my, my, currently, my last name is spelled R-U-V-A-L-C-A-B-A. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. But it, originally, it was spelled R-U-B-A-L-C-A-B-A. -A -A. Okay. And um, when my people were, uh, came to America, yeah. they removed the B uh, and replaced it with a V because the B stood for um, the, it stood for workers and it stood for people who worked in the fields. And they took the B out as a way to. Uh, denounce that and to say like we are here and we are in America which yeah. is a great country yeah. and we are free. Excellent. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless Thank you. you. Now, Gillespie, you are a part of the theater program at your school? Yes, I, uh, I am in the theater program at Monta Vista Christian yes. School. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Uh, and it's, it's an amazing, amazing program. Our fine arts director, Mrs. Morgan Perez, she's here tonight. She's all the way in the back. I can see her back there. She is a wonderful, amazing director, so talented. And she creates these beautiful, amazing productions. We just got done with our production of Fiddler on the Roof, which is amazing, beautiful. I'll wrap it up. But, um, That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and then, That's of course, okay. our musical director, Mr. Stephen Bigger, who is back there as well. <laughs> amazing, amazing man. Amazing vocal director, music director. He's, he's brilliant. I'm going to have to cut you off right there. That's perfect. <laughs> All I'm right. talking too much anyway. That's okay. That's okay. Now, uh, the only other thing I wanted to ask you is you do characters. You do other characters. I is do. Is that correct? I now, do. give me, uh, what is one character that you can do for us right now? You have a platform. Um, uh, I did, I did, over the last summer, I did Spongebob the Musical. Okay. And I had the honor of portraying the role of Spongebob Squarepants. Give me a couple of words of Spongebob. I'm ready! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's excellent. That was fantastic. <laughs> uh, you are a firecracker. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, you know what? Uh, this has really been a fantastic concert. Uh, it has been so much fun. Uh, it's been a great show. It's been a great, you're gonna lead the last song. You yeah. are the greatest showman. <laughs> This is the moment you've waited for oh, Been searching in the dark Your sweat soaking through the floor oh, Been buried in your bones There's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath, stealing your mind And all that you think is left behind 